What's up guys, Jason Up New Age Revolution down here in the cave for what I guarantee, what I guarantee to be the most exciting episode in the history of the show. That's right. We've done so many things. We've talked about so many things. But none of them, none of our conversations will pale in comparison to the one we're going to have today because today we are going to take a closer look at my vintage retro trucker hat collection. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is what I do on this channel. I give you the things that you could get nowhere else. I give you the iconically, the visually iconic images that you could see nowhere else. Today on the channel we're talking about hats. That's right, we are talking about hats. Let's go through the collection. Uh, I love these little things. Uh, look, I know that uh, it, it's so strange how everything, uh, fashion, everything, everything uh, goes in waves. Everything comes and goes. There was a point in time where, you know, these mesh-backed hats were, you know, that's what people wore. And then around the 90s, I remember being in high school and uh, sports, you know, sports hats uh, were just the biggest selling item in the, on the planet. Um, you know, you had companies like Starter and New Era and, um, oh, what's the other one? Oh, there's another one that made, uh, that put out three hats a year. Three new designs. Oh, I'll never remember what it's called. Anyway, uh, there were two major companies, right? Uh, new Era was huge, but there was Starter. And then there was another one, Chalkline, I think, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but, uh, I worked at, <laughs> I worked at, at, at Lids. I was the store manager of Lids in my youth, uh, when I was a mall employee. I was the store manager of Lids. And so I was, um, I was very involved in hats. <laughs> uh, and now, now I, and then, you know, so I wore them all the time and I could only wear certain hats because, you know, when I was a lot thinner you know, my head just didn't look right in hats and my ears would stick out or I don't know. So I could only look good in um, what are lovingly known today as dad hats. Uh, those floppy hats that you put a nice solid curve in. I love those. I have a ton of those. Um, and we sold those at Lids. And back then, uh, they were not called dad hats. They were called easy fit um, and they were the rage because, uh, because, you know, bigger, bulkier, boxier hats, especially the new era fitted hats that, you know, baseball players wear. Uh, I look, uh, um, offensively awful in a new era fitted baseball hat. I, I look moronic. So I would always wear those dad hats or those easy fit hats. And they had fitted ones and they had ones with a little tie in the back, like a, not the snapbacks, but the, but the tie. Anyway, anyway, it's, it's not a hat history lesson. But now, as I was saying, everything comes back full circle. And now these mesh backed hats are cool. And, um, you know, now, now these, are the, these are the hats that I prefer to wear now are these meshy backed ones. I still have some fitted hats. I like the look of a backwards fitted hat. Um, I, I don't often wear my, my hats forward. Um, I, I will on occasion, but I, I, don't, I don't always like to. Um, I will always have a curve in my hat. I, I cannot wear the, the flat brim hats off to the side. I, I just, no, that's not happening. Um, I see people wearing hats now that are like two sizes too big and they cover their ears and I'm not sure what's going on with that. So I'll always have a nice curve in my hat and um, eh, sometimes I'll wear them forwards. I, I, I prefer wearing them backwards. Okay, <laughs> are, you, are you still with me? Are we still here? Okay, let's go through the vintage, retro, whatever, uh, trucker, snapback style hat. Well, this one is, uh, this one is corn. Right, we've got a, we've got a, a multicolored corn logo there on the hat. So there's one. 
There's one. Um, th uh, I, this collection started at a convention in Syracuse. There was a uh, called the Salt City Con, and that was a couple of years before COVID. Uh, was the last Salt City Con, and it's a very very small convention, really small. Um, they brought in um, the guy from Winston from Ghostbusters, uh, Ernie Hudson. So they had Ernie Hudson, and my kid met Ernie Hudson, and that was awesome. And then we took a picture with him, and that was cool. And um, there was a vendor that had these printed mesh hats, and he was selling them for a stupid price, like three for ten. And so I bought six of them. And then I was driving... Did I buy? Yeah, I bought... Well, I think I bought three of them. And then we were in the car, like, getting ready to leave the parking lot, which was busy. And I was like, I can't leave those hats. So I went back in and bought three more um, and started my love for these hats. So let's do it. Let's get into it. So the first one, I'll, this is kind of an authentic. This is, this, is, this is an original. This is, like, from... This is from the apparel resource group of Kmart, right? There's, there's like, the official Kmart tag. And it's got the official Kmart sweat in it. And so this is never going to officially be on my official head. Because this was officially on a, on a Kmart employee's head. And it's got official Kmart sweat. So I'm not wearing this ever. But I love this. I would like a, I would like a modern retro Kmart hat. This is an official hat. That's going on the shelf officially. But it's my big K hat. It's my big K Kmart hat. It's got some stainage and some grossage, and so it goes on the hat. But I have a Kmart. I'd like a Kmart one that I could wear. All right. Um, this is this this hat is the only one I have that is more of the modern retro style, right? So here's here's a more modern retro style mesh back hat. This is Atari. You know, you can see it's got that nice curvature in it. This one actually fits really nice forward because it's a it, it's a newer hat. So, you know, like it's it's not these old floppy retro hats, vintage hats, whatever. It's a new one and it fits it looks good forward um, and backwards obviously. But um, yeah look at that. Whoo ah yeah. Um, so we've got an Atari one. Love it. Little two tone. Blue and white, good stuff. Now these are all like true to the style of the eighties. These are floppy, they're foamy, they're they're cheap, and uh, these I love. I love these. Uh, most of them have the rope. I have no idea. You can right. You can kind of see it. Let me get a good shot of it there. I have no idea what this rope is for. No clue. You know, you're supposed to stick your credit cards in there and keep them on your hat. I have no idea what these ropes are for. But you've seen me wear the Space Invaders hat all the time. I love this. Um, backwards and forwards. The Space Invaders retro hat is mine. These are all from uh, the, the Salt City Con guy. I have no idea who he is. No idea. But he's that's where I got him. I got the uh, MTV hat you've seen me wear. Right, and, and the problem with these, the reason I don't wear them forward is because the brims are very soft. They're, they're very soft brims, and they don't hold their form, and sometimes they're crooked and weird. So if I put them on backwards, I, I feel more comfortable in them. Um, like, I can tell you right now, this, this brim is kind of off-center crooked. So if I wear it forward, it looks silly, right? But we've got the MTV hat. Love that one. Uh... The problem with the white, very white fronts is that they get stained. So I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's a little stainage there. That's from me, so I can wear that. It's not somebody else's official stainage. Um, also from the uh, place, also from the uh, from the Salt City Con, is the Nightmare on Elm Street hat. The nice maroon hat. I've worn this one on the show before. I like wearing them, you know, I wear them out for sure, but I like I like wearing them with you guys when we when we talk the 80s. So we've got a, an awesome Nightmare on Elm Street hat. We have a nastily stink. Man, I got to clean this beast. 
because this is such a nice hat, but it is horribly stained. We've got the Pac-Man hat. This one I love. Actually, this is Super Pac-Man. I think I just noticed that. Super Pac-Man uh, throwbacky trucker retro mesh backed hat, but dirty, dirty. I gotta clean that. I don't even know how I would clean it. Maybe just toss it in the wash? I don't know. I'm doing a load right now. That's right, I'm doing a load. You can't even tell. But I could toss this in. I could toss this in. But I love this. And I didn't even know it was Super Pac-Man until just now, I think. But I love it. Um, this one I, I wanted forever. And finally got it, like I think at Christmas time or something last year. But the uh, Blockbuster hat. I wanted this one for a long time. I got that. Love that. This one I wanted for a long time just because it's awesome and cool. And it's not political, so relax, everybody. And even if it was, relax, everybody. But Reagan Bush 84. How about that? Now, this one bugs me because it's got a... It's got like a little dent in it. And you'd think, well, it's just push the dent out. It's foam or whatever. No, I can't push the dent out. So I don't wear this one forwards either because it just looks like I have a crushed head. But Reagan Bush 84 I wanted forever. I love this hat. I really do. That is so cool. Okay. Uh, I've got a, a Rowdy Roddy Piper hat. Yeah, a nice red hot rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper hat. I would really like a WWF logo hat. I would really like an NWA logo hat, an AWA logo hat. But it's hard to, you, you know, these hats are everywhere, kind of. Um, you know, eBay is a good place. So there's a ton. I, I, there's probably an Etsy shop, but, you know, I would love one with like a VHS tape on it. Um, I don't know, I, uh, like a Zenith hat. Like, I, I have a million ideas of retro hats that I would make, but they're deep cuts, right? They're deep tracks. They're the B-side. Everybody, everybody does the, you know, the, the Pac-Man and the Blockbuster, but I want a Zenith hat, right? I want a VCR hat, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should start a hat printing company. And if you guys have any ideas of how I can get the new 80s revolution on a hat, let me know. I, I can't do it through Tee Public, but I really want my logo on one of these hats. Um, but any print shop, they want me to order like a ton of them. And then, uh, and then they want, uh, and then some won't do the, uh, um, there's some copyrighted stuff on the logo. There's a, I don't have my shirt on, but there's a Pac-Man and a Rubik's Cube. And so when I send, when I try to do it online, it gets kicked back because of the Rubik's Cube and the Pac-Man from some companies. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a minimum order. Maybe I'll order 10 and like sell nine of them. I don't know to you guys. I don't know. And your autograph photos are coming. I, I swear they're coming. I promise. I'm going to hit the post office tomorrow. I'm the worst shipper in the world. Everybody knows that. But they're coming. Um... I don't know. If I got a good deal on the new 80s revolution, you know, trucker mesh-backed hat, would, would you guys be interested? Um, I would really just try to make my money back. Because like, I want one, but I might have to buy, like, 20. And, you know, if they're if I get them for 5 bucks a piece, I'll probably sell them for 5 bucks a piece, you know, just to get my money back if you want them. I don't know. Uh, this one's cool. I like this one. Um... I've seen lots of different styles of this, but this one actually came with two buttons. Uh, a G.I. Joe red, white, and blue G.I. Joe hat with two G.I. Joe buttons. I have not worn this one actually at all. Uh, it's, it's from this company, Auto Collection. So I guess maybe I could look them up. I'm sure that they have a lot of hats still they're selling. The Auto Collection, I don't know. But it's G.I. Joe with the buttons. A couple more. I just got this one. Uh, the Crystal Lake, welcome to Camp Crystal Lake, brown and white hat. Love that. Very cool hat. And then finally, uh, we've got from the, uh, from the local brewery, we've got the Genesee Light beer hat. 
Jenny Light from our local brewery, the Genesee Brewery, the oldest brewery in America. Or so, I don't know, maybe in New York. Uh, maybe in the world, I don't know. Um, Jenny Light, the classic Genesee Light hat. And I, I haven't been back to the brewery. They, they have a great place to eat there and, and get, get all their beer. Uh, and they have a great gift shop. And there's a couple of different Genesee hats that I would like to grab. Uh, Jenny Cream Ale, which many of you around the country have heard of because it's kind of a infamous college beer, Jenny Cream Ale. Um, I'd love a Cream Ale hat. But anyway, that's it. That's the hat collection. Uh, we got corn on my head. Uh, that's it. That's that's the retro hat collection. I keep them on a little hat rack on the door down here. I like to wear them with you guys. I like to wear them out in public. Uh, if any of you want a New 80s Revolution logo hat, uh, let me know. Maybe we can do... Maybe we can do it in the WrestleMania font. Maybe we can do it in the... Uh, in the classic logo, the circle logo with my face on it, you know, you've, you've seen me wear that t-shirt. But I've got to probably place a big order. I just thought of this just now. It's not something I'm trying to sell. But I, need, I want a hat with my own logo on it, but I probably have to buy more than one. So let me know if you want any. We'll try to figure something out. I don't know. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, there's more to come. I'm going to get more. I want a lot more. Um, and they're out there. There's a ton out there, but... I want an old McDonald's hat, I think. Yeah. Anyway, that's the hats. I, I, really, I hope that you were uh, enthralled by this, because uh, that's, that's what we're doing here on a Sunday. All right, that's it. Good night now.